It seems there's nothing Joanna Gaines can't do. Grab a seat on your custom shiplap bench and let's learn about all the things you didn't know about Joanna Gaines. Joanna Gaines is known for transforming drab family rooms into bright open spaces and tight kitchens into the heart of the home. That's why you might be surprised to hear that Gaines' favorite room in her own home is her laundry room. When Today interviewed her about the places that bring her happiness, she told them, I love my laundry room. I know that's a funny thing to love, but this summer I gave it a complete makeover and now it's a place that inspires me. Perhaps Gaines is able to get so much done because she likes to use the internet as little as possible. When Today asked her about how she incorporates technology into her home, her answer was actually that she doesn't. Being on the farm, we don't have the best wireless connection, but honestly, we wouldn't have it any other way. A big part of moving out to the country was to disconnect and enjoy being with our family. Another way Gaines makes sure she is fully present with her family? They don't own a television. Yep, that's right. The stars of a hit show revealed to HGTV that they don't actually have a way to watch it. We didn't buy a TV when we first got married, and we have yet to buy one. When Joanna and Chip first married, they didn't have much. In fact, in an interview with People, Chip explained that Joanna's dad asked Chip when he was going to get a real job for the first two years of their marriage. He had this wad of cash. And so if I needed to go grocery shopping, if I needed to just go find a new shirt, it's whatever was in his pocket. It's clear from watching Fixer Upper that Chip and Joanna have undeniable chemistry. Their secret? Lots of time together. In an interview with Today about how they make their marriage work, Joanna explained her aha moment. One pretty amazing thing we learned early on was that the more time we spend together, the better our relationship was. I think a lot of couples feel the need to get away from each other now and then, to take little breaks and they come back after a girl's weekend or a guy's fishing trip or something, all refreshed and happy to reconnect because they missed each other. But that's just not the case for the two of them. We were just the opposite and still are. We seem to give each other energy. It's obvious on Fixer Upper that Gaines is a wildly creative person with an excellent eye for detail. She's a genius at turning neglected spaces into aesthetically appealing, sun-drenched masterpieces. I'm gonna start ordering materials and we're gonna just push go and Great. blow through this. That's awesome. Awesome. I love and although she's clearly good at what she does, she says she's truly a baker at heart, which has informed her work as a flipper. She mused in an interview with Today, I've designed a lot of kitchens inspired by bakeries I've seen when I travel. So when Gaines opened a bakery herself at the Magnolia Silos in Waco in 2016, it was a big deal for her. Gaines's ethnicity isn't something that comes up on Fixer Upper, likely because it doesn't have much to do with backsplash or paint swatches. But viewers were curious about her ethnicity nonetheless, so much so that she addressed it in a Q&A on her blog. Dispelling rumors that she was Native American, she penned in a post, My father is half Lebanese, half German, and my mother is full Korean. She went into detail about her parents' love story on Instagram, and it is seriously romantic. The pair met in Korea in 1969, where her father was stationed. An unlikely place for a romance to bloom, but love prevailed. Gaines wrote, All the odds were against them, but they fought through and became an example of how to love, fight for, extend grace to, and honor each other amidst all their many differences. And they've been together ever since. Believe it or not, despite her insanely sophisticated design skills, Gaines had zero interior design background when she started flipping houses with her husband. In fact, she told Glamour her background was in communications and she had never done design. But despite her inexperience, she had a knack for the work and she quickly began to take the lead. We all know what happened next. If you were a girl, which one of these three <laughs> colors would you pick? Even though she's clearly blessed with natural ability, Gaines admits that there was a bit of a learning curve in the beginning. Notably, she said that their first home together lacked refinement. She revealed in an interview with Pop Sugar that her first design was a bit of a hodgepodge, with a cowboy-style den for Chip clashing against her French kitchen. I was experimenting with my design style at the time, and every room had a different theme. When Chip announced that they were pregnant with baby number five with this adorable and hilarious Instagram post, some folks were surprised. Considering how much they had on their plates, having yet another baby would have only added to the work in their already bustling lives. Honestly, we wonder how much she sleeps with all she's doing. But hardcore fans likely weren't all that surprised, given that Gaines dropped a not-so-subtle hint that they were hoping for another bundle of joy. She revealed to People magazine back in 2016, I look at life as the more the better. If I found out we were having another baby, I would be really excited. We like a full plate. That's just how Chip and I operate. That wish soon came true as they welcomed baby crew into the world in June of 2018. Fans of Fixer Upper were understandably bummed when Team Gaines announced that season 5 of the show would be their last. And while they loved the experience, they knew that it was time for a break. Chip shared in an interview with People magazine, The show was amazing and we are so thankful for it, but it's also a whirlwind where, if you are not careful, it will flat run you over. You can't believe how out of gas you are. Sounds like it was an intense ride. 
Joanna was born in Kansas as the middle child of her American father and Korean mother, and her formative years shaped her inclusive mindset as an adult. As she told The Hollywood Reporter, "...growing up as half-Asian, half-Caucasian, I get what that feels like to not be accepted and to not be loved. That's the last thing I want anyone to ever feel." Because of those struggles as a child, Jo developed a crippling shyness that lasted throughout her time in school. When the family moved to Texas, just as she started high school, her social anxiety got even worse. As she told Darling Magazine, during one lunch period, she ran away from the cafeteria completely, adding, "...my fear and my insecurities just took over, and I felt like I'd way rather sit in the bathroom stall than get rejected." Gaines looked back on her childhood experience and offered some advice, tweeting in 2020, "...the older I get, the more I realize how much time I spent believing the lie that who I was wasn't good enough. I find myself fighting to get all of that time back, all of the moments I wasted, hiding who I was by trying to be something I wasn't." Joanna had been working at her dad's auto shop for almost a decade when Chip happened to stop by as a customer in 2001. At the time, he owned multiple businesses, and Joanna had plans to take over her dad's store. But once the pair met, their journey changed completely. Recalling their first date, Joe told Today, "...I just love that Chip knew how to draw me out. I'm more introverted." I remember when I touched your leg and you were like, "'Don't touch me.'" And I was like, this is gonna work." Chip also planned to stick around their hometown of Waco, Texas, which was another plus for Joe. The couple proved to be perfect for each other, as Joanna shared with Baylor University. He knew that I had this whole thing of businesses that I wanted to start, but he also knew that I was never going to just take the risk and start them, and he really encouraged me to step out and make one of those dreams happen. Chip and Joe got married in 2003, and soon after, they embarked upon their very first fixer-upper. As Joe shared with Today, Chip had already started flipping houses while they were dating. She recalled, "...our first fixer-upper, we really learned how to work together. I learned what not to do from a design standpoint." Of course, despite the mistakes they made along the way, Joe realized that she enjoyed interior design. The couple continued buying, renovating, and selling houses in the years that followed. And as Joe explained, this helped her to learn to craft beautiful homes on a small budget, which eventually became the basis for a whole career. Joe looked back on the house that started it all, posting to Instagram, "...to this day, if you ask us what our favorite house we ever lived in was, we both go back to this little white 800-square-foot home." Joe caught the design bug after that debut fixer-upper, and in 2003, the couple opened their very first shop in Waco, Texas, Magnolia. The store helped Joe develop her aesthetic, and as she shared with House Beautiful, "...in that store, I developed and sharpened my design style and skills, grew as a business owner, and gained much-needed confidence in Magnolia Market and myself." We opened that little shop, and I was terrified, mm. but it was one of the best days of my life. Joanna explained to Today that she would often be the only person working in the store, and she then had to help customers with home design advice. She admitted, "...I would literally have no idea, and so I would start making stuff up." Shortly after launching their business, Chip and Joe also started their family. As they told The Hollywood Reporter, their four oldest kids, Drake, Ella, Duke, and Emmy, were born fairly early into their marriage. Then, in 2018, they welcomed number five with Crew. For Joe, becoming a mother meant changing up her priorities. As she told Baylor University, I really felt like God was saying, I want you home. I want you raising these babies at home at this age. So she took a step back from her business and focused on parenting. As she told Southern Living, being a mom is at the core of who I am. It's my top priority. Uh, many times I just try to think, well, you know, how did my mom do this? She was tired, she worked, we were her first priority. In terms of raising her kids, Jo took inspiration from her own parents. She learned from her mom, for instance, that a clean, organized home feels more calm. She also copied her mom's idea of having a private room in the house, in order to be able to take a time out for herself when she needs it. It's the laundry room. That's the room you'll find me in. That's where, that's like my little nook. 
everything changed for Chip and Joe when HGTV developed their now-famous home renovation show, Fixer Upper. The network approached the couple and just happened to capture an argument about a houseboat, which ultimately won them their series. As Joe told the Wall Street Journal, it was her response to Chip's rash decision to buy a houseboat that caught the network's attention. After getting a little angry, she then started drawing up plans to transform it. The next thing they knew, they were international stars. According to The Wrap, their show drew over 4 million viewers, making it the most popular home renovation show on HGTV. You ready? Oh, I can't do this. You got it. The couple don't even own a TV, so they were completely unprepared for the level of stardom the show brought them. Joe revealed to Today, I don't think we ever knew it was going to be this national thing. Never would we have thought it would be anywhere close to this. Despite the huge success of Fixer Upper, Chip and Joe decided to wrap the HGTV version of the show. They eventually came back to TV with their own network. But as Joe told Oprah in 2021, when you're filming for four or five years, you begin to lose the why. We just lost steam. We lost the purpose in it. It was no big deal for her, but for me to become famous, I lost a part of myself. Chip went on to explain that he and Joe both agreed that a 12-month hiatus was exactly what they needed. Another reason for taking a break was that the couple wanted to focus on family. As Chip explained to People, the kids were experiencing the negative effects of reality TV. Apparently, they even started to ask why their parents were never at home. So the couple made some beneficial changes. After taking a step back from their show, Chip and Joe took on a new type of business venture, a hotel in Waco, Texas. The couple purchased an old building that was once a shrine and transformed it completely. But Joe admitted she was hesitant to take on the huge project at first. She told Today, I really was like, it scares me, but then I could see it. I could see its history. Y'all, we're gonna have a hotel in downtown Waco, Texas. What? Just a few short blocks from the silos. In a press release, the couple announced that they would be partnering with Adventurous Journeys for the build. They shared, Home is a feeling created by and for the people you love and share your life with. That is our dream for this hotel, that it would serve as an extension of the way we feel about our own home and all it represents to us. Many fans likely think of Joanna Gaines as one of the most beautiful faces on TV, but in 2018, she opened up about how her understanding of beauty has shifted as she aged. She explained to Darling Magazine, As I am getting older, the idea of beauty is very different for me. Yes, I'm getting gray hairs and wrinkles, but I feel more beautiful now because I know I have a great purpose. You were like a flower in desperate need of water. You blossomed in a way that was really fascinating to watch. For Joanna, having the opportunity to care for her family and bring joy to her clients is what makes her feel beautiful from the inside out. By raising her kids, sharing adventures with Chip, and tending to her home, she experiences true beauty compared to the times she obsessed over her looks. When she was younger, Jo considered beauty to be completely superficial, and she didn't always see herself as being pretty. But with age, she has begun to appreciate all the beauty in the world around her. With the perspective of someone with a little more life experience, she said, Beauty comes in so many different forms, whether it's a delicate rose in the garden or the tender touch of a child. Deal with the issues of your heart and allow your beauty to be defined from a whole place from within. Once a woman finds that kind of beautiful, I feel like she can really change the world. With multiple successful businesses and ongoing TV ventures, Joanna Gaines is always on the go. But as she explained in Magnolia Journal in 2021, one particular moment helped her to recognize the importance of slowing down and appreciating the simple things in life. Before the pandemic hit, Joe was having dinner with her family at her dad's house, and when he asked if she wanted to watch the sunset with him, she declined, saying that she was busy and had to put the kids to bed. As lockdown extended from weeks to months, Joe realized that she needed to start appreciating these moments when they came, instead of waiting for another chance in the future. We have to really savor these moments. Once she finally got to spend time with her dad again, she wrote, it didn't take me long to regret that moment. No longer would I measure my life based on what I achieved in a week, a day, or an hour. Now, it is time spent in moments like the one I shared with my dad that I hope define my lifetime. 
Well, You're I'm trying to blind me. No, I'm <laughs> hoping that the Lord speaks to you Stop. through this ray of light. Longtime fans of the Gaines family know that their religious faith is an integral part of their lives. And Jill believes that God has spoken to her at pivotal moments throughout her life and helped her to make the right choices along the way. She recalled several key moments when this occurred, telling Baylor University that as a kid, she once heard God say, Joanna, I have a calling for you. You're going to have a platform one day. Of course, at the time, she didn't fully understand the message. The next time she heard God was when she made the decision to step back from her first store to raise her kids. He made her a promise that if she pressed pause, she'd eventually come back stronger than ever. She then heard God's voice again just after starting Fixer Upper. Apparently, he told her it was time for her to reopen Magnolia, so she did, and the store became a huge success. She said, I can look back now on the pattern of my life and really believe God has a purpose for me. Okay, you ready? Let's do this. And action! Despite all of her successes, it seems like Joe is just getting started. In 2018, on The Tonight Show, she and Chip announced their plans to launch their own home and lifestyle brand on the Magnolia Network. And as Joe told Fast Company, the plan was to fill the brand with content from real-life people who hope to inspire others. She explained, It's what they're doing in real life that drew us to their story. The pair has chosen to feature people who are out there living their ultimate dreams, those who are passionate, unpretentious, natural, and of course, aspirational," Chip said. The fact that we have people on the network who see things from different perspectives or have lifestyles that are different from our own is going to make the overall experience much richer and much better. The app launched in July 2021 with plenty of Magnolia Network shows, recipes, and more, all available to fans. One thing's for sure, if you thought Joanna Gaines was slowing down anytime soon, you ain't seen nothing yet.